gradually fading. We've seen that 30,000 foot height storm out there drop from, a, you know, now down to about 28,000 feet. So this is good sign for us and a little less with the lightning coverage. Severe storms have stayed to the south of this front. That front though is becoming stationary overnight and will be a focus for any passing showers through early morning and fog will also be forming there too. 73 right now in Greensboro, 74 in Burlington after a day of low to mid 80s. Welcome relief from those 90s. So nice to have the clouds in place. We're going to have a little bit more of the clouds too. East or easterly breezes through the day tomorrow with highs at 82 and a rain chance of right around 30%. We're going to keep that trend in place, not only for Winston Salem and Greensboro, but we'll take you into the foothills with this too, up into Wilkesboro and areas north as we go into uh, Sparta. We'll see Ennis as well, seeing those clouds dig in a little bit more. You might see a peak of sunshine here, but better opportunities for storms a little later into the afternoon. Impact hours continue for late afternoon into early evening and your rain chances right about 50%. So yeah, you're looking at clouds, you're looking at rain chances and here's that warm front. We pick it up, start to move it and as it moves to the north and east, we're going to continue to see that build off to the north and east with just a little bit of clearing for us here and there. Some thinning of the clouds is possible for Sunday. We may see mid to upper 80s and a few storms as a cold front pulls near. Doesn't quite sweep through to clear us out, unfortunately. Now let's talk about Tropical Depression 9, which has become Tropical Storm Umberto just within the last hour. We have seen Tropical Storm Umberto gain a little bit of strength. Its movement is to the northwest at six. Its winds 40 miles an hour and take a look at this track. It's going to turn eventually off the coast of Georgia, we believe, to the east northeast. And as it makes that turn, it's going to take most of the rain, the wind and the impact away from North Carolina. That's going to head toward Bermuda and notice our spaghetti model plots. This is where some of the forecast tracks. The models are trying to work out the solution for the storm. Most of them now taking it well away from the coast of the United States. But Bermuda, unfortunately, could be impacted by the storm as as a possible category one hurricane. We've seen some wind gusts tonight in Florida, anywhere from 25 to 30 miles an hour, but some mild winds for them. Certainly some flash flooding would be possible if we can get some good storms going through there. We'll be watching that, but it'll roll by Florida as a tropical storm. Watching this system, you can see that upper level trough, that little low that digs in, cools our temperature sometimes. We think that's going to happen by middle of the week next week. It's going to help to steer that system away from the United States. So that's one of the reasons the models are all in favor of the storm moving away from us. So storm is possible, uh, you know, with flooding, possible minor flooding in areas of Florida. Uh, from Florida to Georgia, then a cat one hurricane likely by Monday, and we're going to see limited if any North Carolina impact. We will likely see more impact on our surf as that storm will still be churning out there as we go into next week by Monday and Tuesday. Look at your seven day forecast. 82 degrees on Saturday, Sunday at 86, a rain chance of only 20 percent and will keep you warm into start of next week, at least for now. No 90s on your forecast. You've got rain chances at 30 percent by late next Friday.